get the language right tonight. The Bible says if God is for you, nobody can be against you. You understand? So now, back to my brother. Um, what was your question again? Besides, he said, show you my nationality. All the, all the Meaning of black that wasn't that wasn't the first language that Moore recognized. That was the no. what was the first language? Huh? What was the first language that the Moors was speaking? It was a Berber language. Huh? It was a Berber language. A Berber? Berber. Berber, what is that? So you so you are not familiar with the Berbers? No, bro, I'm not. I'm familiar with the Hebrew well, language. We, that's we, right. Because the Lord build, spoke Hebrew. We can build upon that. We can't build upon a lie, brother. We, can, we cannot build no, upon a lie. No, no, no. We can build upon that. I'm not going to go over that right now. But see, my point of coming to you is that we, we, said, we should not argue of what is not arguable. Correct? If you feel that this is not arguable, and if you feel that what you say is I, true. I got my feeling, bro. I got no feeling. I uh, only speak what, what the word. No, listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying. I only speak what the word. With the word of God? That's it. Who wrote that book? Here we go. Who wrote that book? <laughs> well, let me get to that. You mentioned the Moors. Greek means mortals, right? It means black, doesn't that? In Greek, but we know that was not the first language it comes from. I don't care what it comes. From. I'm asking, does it mean black? Absolutely not. What's more mean? More means man. More means man. More means man. Show me what it means. Show me means man. Show me what it means man. Show me what it means, means man. Show me the facts. M A W R means light. Show me where more means man. The evidence you have that more means man, and not black. Show me the evidence that it means black. Look up more, please. More. From what language is this from? I'll show you. I'll show you. More. From what language? Like is this more. From? The Moors themselves. The word, the word "more" itself means black. The Moors are called known as being black. Absolutely. Moros, Mauritania, Morocco, or people of black color means black. Absolutely. Now, okay, you say that, but you have no facts to back up what you say. More, more is bloodline. More. Is Regard, blood regardless of what more is, that's not a nationality. More is blood, more is that's that's not a nationality. And what is this? The, the nationality is this. Give me Dormy 28, please. The Moors that ruled in Spain for 700 years were three different sects. You know what sects they were? The three? What three sects were the Moors in Spain? What three sects were they? Uh, four. What three sects? What religions were they under? The three? Islam. One. Uh, was it Christian? Not Christian. You don't ask me. I'm asking you. Oh yeah, that's number two. Okay, what's number three? Muslim is one. You got that one, I'll give you that. Muslim. Yeah, Muslim's one. Muslim, Muslim, same variant, same word. It's not my brother. It's the same thing. That's, that's, it's the same that's thing. That's the thing. Etymology. Etymology is the same thing. The study of etymology is not the same thing, brother. Okay. Well, listen, because. Regardless, regardless, no, what's truth? What's, no, 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 I'm not coming with different things. One, number one, number one. We up here are the children of Israel, number one. That's right. Number two, we don't subscribe to being more. Number three. Moors were rulers, were blacks that ruled over Spain for 700 years. And were no, 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 no. more were Moors. Wait, 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 before that, you gotta, you gotta study your history, brother. They, 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 conquered, they conquered and ruled over Spain for 700 years. You're, That's you're facts. You're right about that. Moors, okay, so I'm, I'm done with that now. I'm done with that now. The Moors have been before that, I'm, though. I know that. I'm fully aware of that. I'm gonna talk about that. You have to study the history. I don't care about that history. I'm talking about when they ruled Spain. We're done with that now. When they ruled Spain, they ruled Spain for 700 years. What happened to them? I think it was 500 years. What happened to them? Check, check, check. I'm asking them a question. Because they're coming right, interrupting. Right. I'm asking them a question. But okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna, no, I'm talking to him now. He's telling me you're going to stop him. I'm asking him a question. I'm asking him a question. You don't cover test or judge 
Uh-huh. Based upon what? Where's that from? Based upon what? What you feel? What you feel? But we don't care what you feel up here. That's the problem with y'all. Why do we that's if the place is the We got on the stop telling people what to do up here. You're not telling us what to do up here. I'm telling you straight, have your own platform, tell somebody else that with your platform. Is that the verse one? Read that please. Read that, verse 1. Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. We don't follow, we don't care about opinions. Cry aloud, spare not. That, that's his lawyer, apparently. That's his lawyer. So y'all talk over there and counsel on that side. Read that, please. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Read again. Cry aloud, spare not. Uh -huh. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Uh -huh. And ahead. show my okay. people okay. their transgressions. And do what? And show my people their transgressions. And show my people their transgressions. Spare, cry aloud and spare not. Cry aloud. Read again. Cry aloud. Speak loud. Y'all can pray about speaking loud. Ever does talk more soft and gentle. We don't talk about that up here. Soft and gentle. Totally feminine and girly, homosexual. We don't talk like that. We don't speak like men with authority. We don't spare not. Go ahead. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. It's a spare not. Me, we don't come up. We're not interested in uh, in, in uh, your emotions, how you feel, what you think. We're not interested in that. Go ahead. Go ahead. And show my people their transgressions. And show my people their transgressions. This is weird stuff going on aside here. And show my people their transgressions. Yes, man, so they all say, oh, you're over-talking me. No, 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 no. That's not over-talking you. We're, we're not here to teach you how you feel or to entertain your emotions. That's not what we're out here for. In the Christian church, you can go there and be homosexual and share your feelings and hug and kiss. Up, up here, we're going to teach what the Word of God says. Now, before you are effeminately interrupted by the emotions here, I asked, how long did Jake, how long did the Moors rule for Spain? That's what I asked. I know, I know that you remember before Spain. I'm well aware of that. El Tariq, El Tariq. I'm well aware of the information. I'm talking about when they rule Spain, what happened to them? When they rule Spain after 7G, what happened to them? That's what I asked. I know about the around before that. How? Right. And what happened to them when they, when they, when they fell? What happened to them when they fell? This happened. We're living in it right now. Correct. Now, now, prior to them being called Moors, what were they called? Calling themselves prior to that, prior to being called Moors. You say man, whatever that is. But prior, prior to them being called Moors, before they ruled Spain, prior to that, what were they called? Moabites. Moabites, no. Mo it's not Moabites. They were not called Moabites at all. That's, they, 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 Moabite was long before me. Moors. Enlighten me, brother, because I'm alive. I'm alive with Moors, brother. Enlighten me. Okay, that's the, that's the point. Now, give me, um, hey, Jazz, where you at? Jazz. Jazz, Jazz, Jazz. Give me that. Man, give me Babylon 7 book 2. Babylon 7 book 2, please. Babylon 7 book 2, I need that book. I'll show you. Babylon 10 book 2. Is that the one I'm looking for? We mentioned, uh... Babylon 10 book 2. Wow. Let's see. Babylon 10 book 2, where is it? Wait, I had it. Give me a minute. It's been a while for this. It mentions El Cid. Or El Tariq. May I ask what version of the Bible King James. The King James version. Wow, what, book you, what version do you have? That's better. You got a better version? I'm just going to say, man, it's not the word of God, brother. Oh, yeah? Well, which one is? Well, let's not side check, because I know you're laughing. Like you know about the Bible. You don't know about the Bible. Let's, let's pretend you do. Read page 109, the Moorish Empire. Uh, we're going to read... Uh, you know, King James has a... You know, he's Prince James at one point in time. Yeah, right. And what about it? What about King James? You know, um, that is the wrong apology, wrong language. King James wrote two books. He wrote two books. What books he wrote? Books about demonology. Hmm. And he wrote the Bible, King James? Rewrote. What, what, what version? What version he wrote? The King James version? King James. 
Yeah, that's funny because because the Bible. Oh no no no, we gotta stop the nonsense. King James didn't write the Bible at all. King James authorized the Bible to be translated from one language to the next. He didn't write anything. Number one. That's what. That's what. Oh no, don't come with the sheep talk. But the sheep rumors. That's called Negro rumors. Negroes will take something up from somebody else and repeat it with confidence like it's a fact. When it comes to King James, it was not called King James Version before that. What was it called before that? You know? No, it was not. It was called the Authorized Version. You know why it's called the Authorized Version? Because, no, I'm going to ask you why. It was written in many languages, right? The reason why it was translated into Arabic, many languages. But prior to it, it was King James. It's still King James. But, oh, no, 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 this is saying anything right now. During the time of King James, King James was the one who gave the authority for it to be translated into English and revised some other visions before. When Christopher Columbus came on this side of the world, he brought Moors, or Jews, with him on this side of the world, and he brought the Bible with him before there were King James in existence. So we can't say he wrote the Bible because there were Bibles around before King James. So you can't use that as an argument. Now, let's go with what you mentioned earlier about the Moors. Read this here, please. Read, uh, at this time, the land of Spain. We're gonna read this in higher paragraph. From at and end of the tree. Go ahead. At this time in the land of Spain, the land of Spain, go ahead. The black Jews, the what? The black Jews, black Jews, go ahead. Were persecuted. Uh -huh. And many had fled to Morocco for refuge. Go ahead. As a result of this persecution, so the Jews were persecuted. Where is Morocco? In West Africa. In Africa. Continue. Sir. You need a map? You need a map? You have even a map? Sir, sure it is. You can show me. You can show me where they say Morocco is today. Right. But we know that Morocco wasn't founded there until the 1800s. Right. But we do know that Morocco is where it is. No, 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 no. I'm asking you, what is the original Morocco? Please tell me. I'm gonna show you where they put the, the Moors migrated from. They come to Spain. That's what I'm you. And that Morocco, they come migrated from it from here. Morocco, Africa. That's where it was. You identify yourself as Asiatic. No, do not. I, I did about myself as an Israelite. Right? So like, like three times. You still bringing that more stuff to us. We're interested in that. That's Islam. I said, oh, shoot, Islam from prison. Read out right there, please. Read out, read out. As, as a result of this persecution, uh -huh. the Jews of Morocco and the Moors planned to invade Spain with the assistance of Spanish Jews. More Jews, go ahead. In the meantime, the plot was uncovered and the Jews of Spain suffered for their intentions. Go ahead. Early in the 8th century, the Mohemians, Mohammedans. Mohammedans from Morocco uh -huh. united with black Jews made what we call an amphibious, amphibious landing at Gibraltar. Gibraltar. At Gibraltar. You have Morocco, which would be... Where is it at? Morocco was somewhere in here. Somewhere, somewhere in here. And they ended up traveling up here. Gibraltar. No, no, no. I'm double the more thing. They might be up here. Morocco right here. I'm double the more thing as well. No, 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 no. We got, we got, I gotta finish. I gotta, I gotta finish. I gotta finish. I gotta finish. I gotta finish. Could you, That's not Morocco. If, That's not Morocco. No, I'm showing you. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. Okay, you are also on a map, so you show me where else it was on the map and we can deal with that. Give me an ancient map you have or show me Morocco somewhere else. Otherwise I'm gonna do it right here. Who made this map? Be on, be on, be on, please. Be on, you deep, you deep for no reason. Be on, okay. The invasion was successful, successful. Uh-huh. New Holmes, Salas says that the uh -huh. first so one good. to set foot on the soil of Spain uh -huh. was, was General Tarif, uh -huh. a Jew of the tribe of Simeon. Who was called the Moor. Who you, wrote so again, this book? Which book? That book, that book, and who made this map? Well, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Here's, 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 are you speaking Spanish right now? What language are you speaking aside you from follow, this one? You follow European. You what, language are you, what language are you speaking? What language are you speaking? What language are you speaking? How else can I communicate with you? All right, so that's the point. Are you speaking English language? Use English books. How that's the point. How do you communicate? You don't make no sense what you're saying. No, no, no. So you're now, using, give me um, Psalms 83. Right? 83. Give me Psalms 83. No, no, no. I'm using fat. You, you said that Morocco is not in Africa. So show me a map that you have in possession. It only now before the white man that's somewhere else. Show it to me. Present your facts. If Morocco is not here, let's deal with that. Morocco is not here. Show me. No, 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 no. Show me the evidence you have. No, no, no. Show me the map that you have before Who the... Who made this map? The white man made the map. 
white man. Why are you following it? Okay, so show me a map before the white man where Morocco actually is. Before the white man. Case, what? I, I, I said, show me a map that you have First of all, that's before that one where Morocco man. is. You said the white man. Yeah, he made white a map. He made a map. He made a map. He made a map. He made a map. No, I, I don't care. I'm asking you to show me where Morocco is on an ancient map before the white man made that one. That's I asked you. Let's not go somewhere else. I'm not being doubtful of nonsense. Show me that you said it's the wrong area, right? It's not there. Show me a map that you have in your possession that's all ages old. The Morocco originally is written and drawn on the map before the white man put it there. I don't have it. Okay, so at this point, you have nothing to substantiate your claim, so we're going to deal with that for now until you find something better or more sufficient. That's right. So now, give me a book of up. So at this point, the, Jew, the Moors, which are Jews, Left here and conquer over here on the L2 repo to the child of Simeon, a Jew, who was called a Moor. The Moors are Israelites. Facts. You got no facts, you're rambling. Now, give me no, Psalms 83, please. Psalms 83, verse 1, please. No, you have no question. You have no facts so far. You said, that, who wrote this? Who wrote that? Who made that? I didn't. You can ask my questions. You have no questions to ask. There is an answer. Psalms 83. Follow in Greek. Okay, just speak in English. So I speak one, and that one everyone understands so far. Psalms 83, verse 1. Psalms chapter 83, verse 1. Uh huh. Keep not thy silence, O God. Go ahead. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Uh huh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Go ahead. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Stop working. Go ahead. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against what? Against thy people. Go ahead. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Go ahead. The hidden ones will be the children of Israel. Go ahead. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Being a what? Being a nation. Cut them off from being a nation. Go ahead. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Maybe what? No more in remembrance. Do you have a question? Yes. You mean the Native Americans on this side of the world? That's your front to? The Mayans, the Incans, the Aztecs, your front to them? The Mayans, the Incans, the Aztecs, and so forth. That's you asked me? But that's it. The, the, you, know, you know what they were? What they were called before that? They were children of Israel on this side of the world. Before mankind dwelt here. I can deal with that if you have time. I can deal with that. If you have time to listen, I'll deal with that. But read on. We're going we're gonna to read about the history of the children of Israel. We're not interested in Moors. That's not, that's not our people. But that's not what we call ourselves in ancient time. According to the Bible, we have Moses, we have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Still that first. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They were Hebrews. They had sons. Abraham had a son named Isaac. Isaac had a son named Jacob. And Jacob had 12 sons. Those 12 sons produced tribes and nations, and that's what we derive from. That's what we call, that's what we are. That's what we, that's what we are, that's what we be. That's what we deal with historically, you understand? And when you examine the history of the Israelites, they were an omnipresent people that were that subscribed to many different religions and philosophies over time. And over time, adopted different names by the nations or for themselves. One being more, that's one, more. You also have, you also have uh, Greeks, another one. Uh, over time, some Romans, Portuguese, our people were scattered abroad and they, and, um, and they maintained numerous um, ethnic, ethnic, ethnic titles that were not that were completely opposite of what they were given. God given the Israelites, you understand? So now, read on, what you got? They have taken crafty counsel so when Israel was defeated and conquered for not keeping his laws, the nations that were against us, which would be everybody outside of that sign there, everyone, all nations outside, Arabic alike, African alike, you understand, called Chinese, Japanese alike, all of them had a time to conspire against us and to assure that we will remain divided and maintain these false senses of identity or religions or titles for thousands of years, which is still happening now. Continue. Against thy people. Against your people. Go ahead. And consult it against thy hidden one. Hidden ones, the identity is hidden even so now. Go ahead. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And let us come and cut them off from being a nation. Let's cut them off from being a nation sure. by what? Language barrier, um, um, nationality, 
land, and so on and so forth. Let's divide them, go ahead. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's the point here. That the name of Israel may be no longer in their remembrance. We remember ourselves by our name we were called before. Before the Greek terms, mortals, all that stuff, we were known as the Israelites, according to the Bible. That's what we were known as. Historically, that's what we were known as. That was our God-given name. You understand? And what happened, give me Isaiah 20 verse 1. And over time, the Bible was translated into Greek, known as the Septuagint. So those of us who spoke Greek at that time can read it and understand it. Then it was called the Latin Bulgit. We spoke on Latin. At that time, then it was also translated into Arabic. There's a lot of us migrated into areas of Arabic areas as well. And we subscribed to Islam under that and we translated into Arab. And the, and the children of Ishmael, like uh, Muhammad, for example, he can encounter the Jews all the time during his travels when he would discuss certain things. Because during his time, prior to Islam being brought to Arabs, they subscribed to a number of gods, 360 gods each day for, uh, for, um, for each um, day of the year. You understand what I'm saying? And so over time, over time, over time, you had um, our people begin to subscribe to those uh, religions in, over time and gain different nationalities, different religions and so forth, and different philosophies, and that's where we are now. Then we got eventually overthrown by the Arabs, overthrown by the whites, and were sold by them and brought over here. Or well, the Africans as well, and brought us over here. Read on what you got? Isaiah 28, verse, uh, you know what, 11. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. Go ahead. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. Right, so the most I made it clear that over time, Israel was going to be scattered among the nations, and with each nation they'd be scattered amongst, they would learn the language of those particular nations. Like I mentioned earlier, Greek, Latin, Portuguese, Spanish, Arabic. So the Bible is eventually going to be translated within the, to those languages. Today it will be English. You understand? So people oftentimes will say, well, King James wrote the Bible. King James didn't write the Bible. King James was the one who allowed the, or the one who authorized those who asked them was a request that was made. Before King James, you had England, that was, England was Catholic. Before King James, England was a Catholic land. And under Catholic rule, you were not allowed to have your own Bible, and it was not allowed to be in English. And it, it had to be taught to you in the church, in a cathedral. What happened was, a man, you had men like Wycliffe, and you had men like, uh, what's his name? Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. Wycliffe, and you had, um, no, Wycliffe and some, Tyndale. Wycliffe and Tyndale. Those men made strides to make sure the Bible was translated into English. And then the King James Version Bible was a version Bible that was taken by translators, 47 of them, and they asked the king, could you give us permission to do this? Because we know in the past people have been hung and, and killed for this. So can you authorize us to translate and, and revise this Bible and make a better one? Because the one we have now was trash. It was translated improperly. The King James said, let it be so. And they had the printing press and so forth, and it was published. And it came the closest to the original language. And that's how it was called the authorized version. Then in honor of King James and them giving them the permission to do so, it was later on known as the KJV. He didn't write anything. He simply authorized it to be translated into English. That's all that means. There were other Bibles before King James was even born and even in existence. What I'm, what I'm going to say is this. You have a question, you're going to say something. Because I told you before, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say something. Real, I'm going to say, oh, 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 I'm going to question one. I'm going to say something real clear to you. Go ahead, go ahead. We're not here, I'll make it very clear, to learn from y'all. If that were the case, you'd have your own platform. You'd be in the corner teaching by now. Remember before, before we was here. So for people to come up here, and I'm not saying just in general. People come up here and want to be scholars when we're up here. When we're not here, no one's around. But when we are here, everyone wants to challenge, but I know this. You should do that when we're not here. So by you doing it when we're not here, shows you care. But doing it when we are here means you're trying to be a show off, or show, no, not you, in general. Or it's called the spirit of emulation, where I, what you can do, nigga, I can do better. That's the spirit of a crab in a barrel. You don't want that, so we're not entertaining that spirit. So what is your question? What is your question? First of all, I just want to say this. No, no, what, I want your question. What is your question? Not, not your statement. I want a question. I'm up here to teach. What is your question? That's what I'm asking you. My question. Yes, here we go. Question. Is, mm -hmm. do you not agree that etymology is important to us? Because you understand that when you translate words to new languages, they uh -huh. have new meanings. Right. So, Prove that would be. What's the question? 
How does that is? That's the question? How does that is? Does it not have new meaning when you translate a word? It depends on the language. It depends on the language. It depends on the language. Like, for example, like the word soul in Spanish. What does soul mean in Spanish? Soul. Light. This means sun, solar. Loon, luna in Spanish. It means lunar. Not in English. Lunar is moon. So again, listen, 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 listen. It depends on the language. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.